Welcome to Top 5 Splosion, your one-stop show for the top of the top in the video game universe. We're all guilty of, at one point, running around with our briefs on the outside of our trousers and a towel tied around our necks, imitating our favorite superheroes. In this episode of Top 5, we fly headfirst into the superhero games that make you want to drench yourself in toxic goo and hope for powers. What the fuck? Number 5, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Nothing says badass like being a 5 foot 4 clawed Canadian with adamantium lace bones and anger management issues. This crazy Canuck say he the best there is at what he do. And anybody who has ever tried to dispute that learned very quickly what it looks like when their large intestine is threaded through their eye socket. It's possible this was the best game Activision has ever made, and it's attached to what could possibly be the worst film Fox has ever distributed. The story's cool and all, but slicing up droves of ass clowns who didn't get the memo that healing factor is a thing and bullets are useless? Priceless. They should have called this game Turn Off Your Brain and Widow a Bunch of Digital Housewives with some ex-dude from Alpha Flight. Number 4, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. They say there's powers in numbers. Well, shit, somebody took that saying a little bit too seriously. There are enough playable heroes in this game to f shit up from Yggdrasil to Jotunheim and back. Twice. You ain't gotta be smart to plow through this marvelous bastard. It's pure brawn over brawn. Got friends? It's a four-player co-op adventure. And if that's not enough for you, check this shit out. Each hero can use up to four immensely brolic super abilities. Heroes can also let their powers combine to perform outstanding as fusion attacks, which can clear a room faster than your uncle's flatulence after he's devoured three double bean and cheese burritos. Number three, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Whoa, back the f up. You may not be ready for this seizure inducing butcher fest. Lesser beings watch a match from this bitch and see random button mashing. Unless you're operating on Reed Richards level intellect, you'll be lost in the sauce crying and clawing your eyes out. People think playing chess is a pain in the ass. Imagine playing Go at 478 miles per hour in the back of a rocket propelled cyborg unicorn. Combos on counters on combos is the name of this game, and the only thing pulling you through to victory are your genius level strategies, bionic eyeballs, and quick twitch muscles in your crooked ass phalanges. Remove the Capcom characters from the equation and you got yourself the greatest damn exclusively Marvel game this end of the Milky Way. Number 2. X-Men Arcade. Can you actually taste the amount of mutated blood seeping through the seams of this classical mother bitch? At one point in time, you had to stand up and play this game because your homo inferior ass wasn't worthy of playing in a relaxing position. Since you're only 13 years old, I bet you had no idea this beauteous beast based off a cartoon pilot was based off a goddamn cartoon pilot from 1989. It was so innovative for its time, they introduced secondary mutation before the comic books did. They made Storm a damn wizard, and they utilized the sexily underappreciated Disco Dazzler. This quarter queefing collector's item was ported to next gen consoles in HD with the six-player co-op element intact, sparking a dream of consumers owning super elongated television sets. Number one, Batman Arkham City. Oh my holy damn, it's the swag nominal Dark Knight. Some sorry ass thought it'd be a good idea to trap Bruce Richie Rich Wayne in a prison city without knowing he's the goddamn Batman. That's like trapping a poisonous grizzly bear armed with a chainsaw in a room full of newborn babies covered in honey and gravy. There's no escaping God's right hand of justice when you're trapped in a violent village with a man dressed up as a bat who willingly fist fights full grown great white sharks for sport. And don't think he's in this alone. The bat's got cats, robins, and night wings at his beck and call. This isn't Arkham City, this is his city. You're just a guest for the slaughter. Well, that's it for this episode of Top 5 Explosion. Are there superhero games you thought should be on this list? Well, comment below and subscribe up top. And always remember, with great power comes great video games.